हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप इंडिया मोस्ट लार्जेस्ट कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन प्लेटफॉर्म सो नेशनल इंफॉर्मेटिक सेंटर हैज कम अप विथ ह्यूज वैकेंसीज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू दैट दिस पोस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी ओनली फॉर द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सेंटर कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट्स सो इफ यू आर फ्रॉम अदर ब्रांच दैन दिस वीडियो इज नॉट फॉर यू and second thing that there is no experience required for this particular notification so let's uh, cover the detailed advertisement what is there what is the requirement what is the selection procedure how many seats are there what is the age limit what is the date of filling the online form okay so let's go one by one so as you can see that national information centers it comes under the ministry of electronics and information technology so uh, there are uh, three different post has come then scientist b that is group a and there are 71 post and uh, scientist uh, scientific officer engineer so we will come with this part, particular part where 196 post are there overall and scientific technical assistant post is also there where 331 post are there so in all the post you can apply but there has to be separate form to be filled right so this is the number of posts and now let's come up with the what is the requirement okay so here we will see what is the eligibility criteria so the eligibility criteria you can see here is essential education qualification and experience so for scientist b you can have the degree of btech or be and department of electronics and aggregation of computer science course b level or associate member of institute of engineers etc and you can have also the degree of mca that is master degree in computer application master degree in engineering so me mtech is also uh, eligible now the field is single or in the combination amongst the below only that is the degree which you should have you can have the electronics degree you can have the electronics and communication you can have computer science you can have computer science and network security etc etc so it so all the btech students which those who are having the uh, degree in the electronics and communication electronics and instrumentation computer science and uh, it these are eligible the graduation and the masters also eligible for the scientific officer engineer a pass in msc ms mca b btech in any one or in any combination of the below mentioned field as below so here also uh, for this scientific officer post again you can apply with the same degree but here electronics and instrumentation are not eligible but in the case of scientist b electronics and instrumentation are also eligible experience no experience required as i initially told you age limit is up to 30 maximum for undeserved it is 30 for scst it is 35 and 33 respectively and for pwd it is 40 okay so uh, these are the certain things that is the about the age relaxation only now let's come up with the for the what is the place of posting it may be anywhere in the india how to apply so you can visit this particular website which is www.calicut.nilit.in/nic23 between 4th of march morning 10 o'clock to 4th of april evening 5:30 so the online application form you can fill from 4th of march onwards first of all step 1 the registration with the email id and submission of the application and the payment so payment fees what is the fees now the fees is 8 800 for each application means you can apply if you are eligible in all the three then you can apply in all the three post okay and uh, you should have the uh, you should fill the three separate forms 800 each and uh, the, there will be offline online test but in the different centers these are the number of centers which is given cities where the online test will be conducted so center for the written exam from the city is listed below and uh, this fees we have seen that for sc st and pwd there is no fees and for general and obc there is 800 now what is the selection procedure which you are interested in and also the syllabus part right so the selection procedure is online test that is the written examination online mode and the question paper would consist of 
120 number of MCQs to be answered in a maximum of 3 hours. So, 180 minutes, 120 questions. The medium of the written examination will be only in English. There will be 65 questions, 65% uh, questions from the technical area and 35 questions from the generic area. Syllabus is also given and every question will carry one mark. And there will be negative marking also, which is one fourth, which is 0.25 marks for each wrong answer. The minimum percent to qualify the written examination is 50% for general, 40% for OBC, 30% for SCST and PWD. The cutoff mark specified would be applicable in overall marks. And uh, scientists we post only the shortlist candidates who have qualified the written examination shall be called for the interview. The final selection of the eligible candidates for appointment will be based on combined performance of the written test and the interview and the weightage of the written examination is 85 percent and in the interview 15 percent so that means you have to score maximum marks in the written examination and it is mandatory to appear in the interview even though you may think that uh, you have done in the written examination if you don't appear in the interview then also you will be selected but no uh, Though you don't perform well in the interview, but you have to be present in the interview. The final selection of eligible candidates for the appointment will be based on the merit position. So, for the scientific technical assistant post that is on the merit basis, there will be no interview separately for the technical assistant post. And online examination will be there. Okay. Now, coming to the next part, which is the verification of the documents uh, after the selection and the uh, uh, interview uh, that the document verification will be done so now we are more interested in the last part which is syllabus okay and yes the final selection of uh, final year students are also eligible right so that is also we, you can see from this uh, important instruction uh, what is the criteria to upload the uh, images when you will fill the form we go through it once okay go through it once and then only you should start registering and filling the form right so coming to the last part which is your and yes no tada will be provided for the written examination so if you visit your nearby places then there will be no uh, tada will be provided so this is the syllabus and it is it will look like a more oriented towards the cs branch but uh, for the cs branch also there are some subjects which maybe they have to uh, study separately the probability statistics and uh, combinators and digital logic computer organization architecture electrical engineering analog and digital communication programming and data structure algorithm compiler design operating system and database so these are the subjects that uh, you have to study for the uh, section B, computer science. And section A, generic, we have logical reasoning, analytical reasoning, quantitative and qualitative abilities, general aptitude. So this is the syllabus of this particular exam. Okay, and there are more subjects like information system and software engineering, computer networks, web technology, etc, etc. So, uh, it is more uh, inclined towards the CS branch. So, if you are interested and suppose you have studied in your uh, BTEC um, subjects of computers, then you can go through this. Otherwise, it is mostly inclined towards the CS branch. So, the CS branch students, there is a very good opportunity for you. So, prepare well and I hope that all of these subjects you have studied in your uh, gate preparation and your BTEC very well. So, this is a very wonderful opportunity for all of you. So, all the very best from my side and we will keep posting you about the other post for the other branches like electrical, electronics, etc. So, stay tuned with us. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.